Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I kind of feel bad. I never changed my background to like green for this Hydra arc. I feel like that would have fit really well. But whatever, we don't need it. We don't need it. This is season four, episode 20. We got two left after this one. I think this is the episode that a lot is going to change. The last episode was a ton of setup for the Looking Glass project, which I was very curious about. Ophelia fits. A bunch of people are about to cross over to the real world, whether that's taking over the bodies of the people there or making LMD bodies or just mattering up human bodies of themselves via the dark hold and once they have real bodies they're gonna want to instantly go kill everyone that's asleep in the framework so our people have to go to the back door and actually wake up before these robot people get real bodies and self-awareness and everything so that they can kill the people that are asleep so we're on a bit of a speed race right now and also just people don't completely believe the what's going on so like Mac is gonna be hard to get to wake up he has a daughter on the other side can he bring his daughter with him and make an LMD body of her I don't know can Jeffrey Mace get a body I don't know so many questions we need answers let's watch the episode leave a like comment your thoughts when the episode is over subscribe if you haven't already we're on the road to 20,000 in 2024 so I would appreciate that a lot hit the join button if you want to watch early episodes and let's hop in the episode on Previously, on Agents of it's Coulson again talking because he said he's the agents of shit. Ah, that's so good. Also, Ada and the Russian man know about the Zephyr with Simmons and Daisy on it, so Yo-Yo is probably going to come into play this episode and defend them 10 days ago. Remember, How long have they been in there? Hey, why, do not 10 days. You up, They've know. been in there 10 days. Like I thought time might have been passing differently, but I guess not. So what's next? Yo-Yo and Piper. Wait. We wait a long time. Interesting. Talbot's no. been trying to reach us. Maybe it's time we talk to him. Oh, I forgot about Talbot at this point. We're Holy. Lucky you showed us out of the sky. <laughs> and if they turn off the framework, that thing's draining all our power. Might be time we figure out a way to wake up Daisy and Simmons. They're freezing in here. We must find something else to turn off. We already shut off all non-essential functions, including the heat. Wait, what about the cloaking? Bad idea. Piper, you're the one that led Ada and the Russian to you? By turning off the cloaking? Do it. Uh, without the cloaking, the sun might be able to heat this place up a bit, too. The logo is too cool. Ah. She's not subtle, that Madame Hydra. Yeah, just look at her uniform. It's so crazy hot. <laughs> Bad girl vibe. <laughs> not Burrows not me. is me. Making an observation. <laughs> Trip. That's what I've been saying, Burroughs. Hey, person I don't know. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I, I heard about your mission. Awesome job. Thanks. You can finish hugging me later. <laughs> uh. Ada's building a body for herself in the real world. A human body. Okay, yeah, yeah, it is gonna be human. Would allow her to unplug the framework, killing us all. We can't rescue Fitz right now. There's no time. We can't just leave him behind. He's part of our team. And the current yeah. head of Hydra. The Fitz in this world wants all of us dead. Daisy, I know that it's not You can kidnap That's him. You could do it. I believe. We're living in. If we don't get Coulson, me, and Mac out of here, Ada will kill all of them. I mean, yeah, I guess. Gemma might just stay. We're going home. I just wanted to free up some bunk space for those. Hey, no, you're not. That's super thoughtful, but we actually have a situation. Simmons just came back with some intel that could help us take out Madame Hydra for good. It sounds like you might want someone who's a little more combat ready. We need you. You're, they're gonna, yeah. That's sad, having to trick them out of here. <laughs> Rear. Pooper. Salt shaker. Money maker. Ass. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, <okay>. Wow. <laughs> oh, bring hope out of here. The biggest hero in S.H.I.E.L.D. Just promise you'll have me back in time to put hope to bed. Uh, I'll make sure you're exactly where you need to be. Hey, there's a way around that. 
promise. <laughs> what if I told you this whole world isn't real? That it's just a simulation meant to keep us imprisoned? I'd say you need to be medicated. And up until a week ago, I would have agreed with you. Crafted a lot of soap trying to stay sane. Crafted soap? Forget that. You have to admit, after everything you've been through, something about this world doesn't feel right. Teams, martial law is now in a... It's like the Grant thing in space time. Well, Hive. Not looking good, Radcliffe. I'm not talking to you. Not your decision. Tell me what you and Sky were discussing yesterday. You may not be the fit. It was my good friend, a man I'd step in front of a train for. But you wear your fear the same way. <laughs> Soon Daisy and the rest of them will escape this wretched reality. <sighs> but if that's true, they'll destroy this world, killing you along with it. We built a machine in the other world which can transfer human consciousness into an organic... Yeah, oh. How is that even possible? <laughs> it's wild. The dark hold. Mm. The way this season wraps up, man, everything connects from the very beginning. Yeah, that whole Eli plot where he became a supervillain for a second there, what, for one episode, seemed like it was going to go somewhere, but it led nowhere that's why i was disappointed with eli as a villain but it is leading somewhere that technology that machine is being remade here repurposed you can have a second life or a third or however many you want that's up to you immortality daisy's looking for a way out uh he's gonna give them up how did a little pop tart like you <laughs> pop tart <laughs> In fact, you, Coulson, Daisy, and Mac, me and Fitz. Leopold Fitz? <laughs> the doctor. I understand he's done some bad things here, but something must have changed him because the Fitz I know is a kind, caring person. Doesn't sound like any Fitz I've ever met, father or son. There it is, now you know. Father. Everyone at Hydra knows Alistair Fitz. Those two are inseparable. Oh, well, maybe if you take Alistair, Fitz is gonna come to you. Yeah. Help me fix this. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Next scene. <laughs> okay, maybe Fitz is so evil now that he just won't care about his father. You, May, Mac, and Coulson were all part of our team in the other world. So, that's why you're so happy to see me. You and I, we must have, uh, you know. Dated? Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, no, sorry. Right, me and Simmons, we probably. Nope. Agent May? Damn. And this is really a place you want to go back to. Easy, playboy. Right now we have to round up Simmons and the rest of the team. Tell him the truth. That you killed him. I mean, he killed himself. I'm not gonna lie. He killed himself. He was fine until he kicked it. Fitz is better than that. He's a good man. No, Leopold is a great man. And he's my only son. And everything I have in this world, he gave me. I can fix this. Be Fitz careful, Gemma. Nonsense. He's the top man in Hydra. You... I could never hurt him. I only want to talk. Now make the call. This might just work. Yes, Father. Listen to me very carefully, son. You know I've always loved you. Only ever wanted what was best for you. Yeah, of course I do. He's gonna know this is a code or something. The fugitive is here. Bring all your men. Stupid man, you're going to get us all killed. The only one dying today is you. No, she really took the phone to to the face. Uh Gemma. Please don't tell me you came here alone. Uh, please. Shoot him. Uh I mean... Dad! Are you okay? Oh, Dad, answer me! Oh, this is evil fits, but still... Oh, Gemma's fine. That's good. Oh, It's not right here. People are staring <laughs> at us. Really not my style. I'm really more of a... That is exactly... Shadows kind of guy. Really? <laughs> That's how teaching 10th grade works best? From the shadows? I'll be honest with you. 15-year-olds are no joke. Oh, my gosh. Me. It came up in conversation. 
How does the existence of an alternate reality come up in casual <laughs> conversation? I'd like to think it's because really cool. we were bonding, though I don't really want to speak for her. <laughs> oh my god. Really not helping. <laughs> uh, he's acting all tough for his people. Yep. Get the men back on the Zephyr. I like how he has the Zephyr. <laughs> he did design it, so. Look at him. Look at him! <laughs> That's my father lying there. He's such a great actor. Murdered in the home that I bought for him. Oh. You bought it for him? You're gonna lead me to Gemma Simmons, where is my intent? To put a bullet through her skull. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not my Fitz and Simmons. Russian SU-27 headed our way. Ivanov. Yep, Ivanov. Oh boy. We need to defend ourselves. How do we do that? We got anti air. <laughs> How do we do that? I was trying to say Fitz. Please tell me that's not his blood. No, it's from his oh. father. She said father really funny. That's, that's okay. Fitz is that's dead. okay. He didn't kill anyone. He just made some ones and zeros disappear. But Fitz won't come with us now. Can, was it, I think it was Fitz and her together that made the icer. I was going to say like, make, try to make some kind of icer thing. Just something to knock him out and force him to come with you. I mean, I know you have to get close to him and everything, but any little non-lethal will help. I don't think she can make an icer on her own, though. The doctor's father. He's been murdered. What? The details are still coming <laughs> What? <in. The> voice. <laughs> it appears to have been the work of a S.H.I.E.L.D. terrorist. Simmons. I'm so sorry, madam. What? I know how much Dr. Fitz's father meant Where to is me. Leopold now? Uh, he's taken a team to hunt down his father's killer. Send word that I want them to terminate their mission and return to the Triskelion immediately. The backdoor exit point's programmed to be in a city park, not some steel mill. What's going on here? Seems Madam Hydra's a step ahead huh. of you again. Oh, the city park. Was that the backdoor the whole time? When they were at the bench trying to, like, pick up an object from there? So they knew about that backdoor. Is he telling them about, about the wrong backdoor, the one that didn't work? Just because Mace is gone doesn't mean the Patriot has to be. True. Whoa. Maybe it's your turn to suit up. That would People be could use crazy. another Patriot to look up to. I look pretty damn fine in that suit. <laughs> <laughs> Trip as yeah. a Patriot? That would make a lot of sense. That would be cool. This can't be it. The coordinates lead right there. Into a pool of molten steel? <laughs> you think Radcliffe gave us bad info? Maybe you just have to trust and jump into it. But... Uh, I don't... I don't know. What if Madame Hydra discovered the back door and built this place as a way to prevent people from passing through? Uh, Wait a yeah. minute, what is this back door everyone keeps talking about? I thought we were here to take out Madame Hydra. Let me guess. No one told you about the other world. The other world? What? So what does this mean for all? <laughs> back. You guys can't... Yeah, you can't tell them, really. They're gonna upload her. Make her a body. She's got the ring around her. Uploading. Oh, the orange is kind of like the dark hold stuff that she did. Yep, there it is. It's like a 3D printer. Oh my gosh, and it's quick. Yeah, those are not robotic parts. Those are human. That's crazy. Can I get one? Just like she's not Moses about to take you to the promised land. That's it. What if I quake that thing? <laughs> Thanks, Mac. Safe. <laughs> not just go and use the Bible against me. <laughs> but they did. Uh, it's just like the portals of Mavis. I mean, Quake is the one that has to open that too. What if it turns into a star, just like the Mavis one? How the hell these guys find us? Either it's a trap, or the back door is really here. It's really here. It's gotta be. Yep. Wow, oh, it's just like it. Go, go, go. Someone throw Mac in there. Telekinesis him. Just hope he doesn't wake up with the memories of this universe, because then he'll really want to go back. <laughs> he'll be the first to jump in. I've... We're going back to our world. <laughs> He's so happy. Oh. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. No, no. If he makes it, if he makes it, he'll he'll go back to his body. No, no. What, what, every pain that he feels in this world, he feels on the other world. Uh, Not on my watch. Right? Stay here. Uh, all those bullets he's gonna feel on the other side, but he doesn't get them. 
It'll just... Yeah, Mac, you know how to use a gun. You're an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., Mac. Put him in! It feels oddly familiar. Hang in there. Oh, oh, oh. We'll get you patched up. Help me to the edge. It's the only way. Edge him. I mean, what? Go! Just don't hit the lava on your way down. I'm sure it will work. I can't. I guess it's gonna be a leap of faith type of thing. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Why fall like that? <laughs> okay, it's a pretty big hole, I guess. But still, there's lava all over it. Whoa. It's slowly changing. Oh. Whoa. Wait. Whoa. 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 <laughs> They're breaking the framework. You gotta be very careful in there. Even though I guess they still can't hurt you, but her body might be made. Oh. It's all happening at once. Who will win the race? He does remember Jump. in there. Or else you wouldn't be saying that stuff. Hey. Oh, Max gonna remember. Maybe he'll be happy for the times he had. He'll thank Fitz or someone. I don't know, maybe. It's not like you can remember your whole life in there, right? Because it's a completely different life. I don't know. Whatever. That's just way too much for one brain to handle, man. Yo, uh, someone unplug I'm Ada. Sorry. Get her. Ada. Not that it really no matters. Box. It won't matter, actually. Uh, she's almost fully built. Oh my gosh. I know this is real. <sighs> uh, this oh, is. Run, just run. There's no point of. Seems you finally found me. Why is he holding it up there? Quake his gun, rip it, it apart. You. So you kill. And telekinesis, I'm in. Right after he tells me that he loves me, you murder him in cold blood. As I listen. I am so sorry. Ophelia. Its name is Ada. Artificially intelligent digital assistant. And hey, that's what it stands for. Okay. For it. Radcliffe and Daisy told you the truth. <laughs> Please do not be the one that kills Simmons. Fitz, you have to wake up. Go on your knees. <gasps> uh, 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 he does that in the real world too. Robot fits. Stabs her. Um, why is no one helping? Daisy, did you not hear the gunshot? Daisy. You mean nothing to me. Just keep saying you love him. Say it. Tell him something only he would know, or like uh he's so different this <gasps> Oh my gosh. Radcliffe. Radcliffe, MVP. Nice, nice, nice. Don't shoot him. Yeah, yeah, he's good, he's good, he's good. Radcliffe, Radcliffe, MVP. Dang, they really did nothing. Come over there. It's all my fault. You have no body to go back to. Okay, now it's your turn, Gemma. They're gonna wake up in a plane being attacked by a Russian. Thank you, Radcliffe. I'm so glad. Ah, oh, I was so annoyed. You guys remember how annoyed I was when Radcliffe turned out to be a villain? I was just like, that's not him. That is the Dark Hole or something. I'm so glad he's actually a good person. Like, slowly throughout the episodes, you figure out he's actually pretty good. He's not trying to kill anyone. He doesn't want you to do that. He has so many great intentions for these characters and for the world he's building. It's just all went wrong. Like Howard Stark. Like Fitz. Nice. Okay. Now Mac. Is awake. You okay? And Daisy. No break for you. No break. We're being shot out of the sky. <laughs> Mac. You said it yourself. Mac, this is a this fake world. This world is not world. real. And in the real world, you're in danger right he doesn't, now. Doesn't know. Is she in danger? No. She doesn't exist. Things are different there. Hope isn't alive in our world. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I, I don't I don't know what happened. It's it's not something you talk about. Ada, she made changes in this world to keep us from fighting back. So she fixed your biggest regret. And I'm staying. Mac. I don't want to live in a world without hope. Aw. I, I said it. 
It's gonna be hard to convince him. Uh, With your own eyes, it's a computer program. He's still happier here. Even hope. She laughs at my jokes. Watch movies together. It's real enough for him. When she said. Oh, are we really gonna lose Mac? When she said I hold her, she's real to me. People who really care about you. Who love you very much. <sighs> Tell them I'm sorry. I don't want to lose you. Good luck. Wow. I'm getting teary eyed. I think she's gonna force him in or something. Ow. Daisy, is the headset still on? Okay, yeah, yeah. She jumped in. She I'm so sorry. What? Maybe he's. No, wait. There's no way he could have jumped in because it's lava covered now. Wait, they just left him? It's okay. We're back. You could have forced him. He remembers all that. Oh. No, no, I, I, I killed people. No, they weren't real. Agnes was real. And the maze. Yeah. Oh. It's still gonna affect them for so long. That's crazy. It's like when you wake up from a dream and you're like crying or something because it was just so sad or you woke up just feeling angry or like it, was, it wasn't real, but you're still mad about it. That's what this is like. There, they captured that moment so well right here. Wow. Naked lady. Ada. What's she gonna name herself? Not artificial anymore. Oh, she has life. Ophelia, I am so happy to see you. Oh my! They're gonna kill her instantly. She's not a robot anymore. Finally, you can touch the real. Fitz, move. Me. Careful, Fitz. I feel my heart beating. <laughs> What? It's crazy that in season three they make Gemma fall in love with someone else. Someone else, not Elfu. Hello? Someone else. And then this season, he's kind of like in love with this person. His memories are with her, so. But he still loves Simmons as well, because he's like he's living in two different bodies right now, basically. Two different brains inside of him. What's he I think he's gonna do something to her. Let's watch. Take the shot, man. <laughs> Get out of the way! Don't Fitz. take the shot, Fritz is in Just the way. Take the shot! What? Okay, I was not expecting that. What? That was Gordo powers. That was a go. Oh, okay. Oh, never in a million years would I have guessed that. She gave herself the powers of the Inhumans. <laughs> a more powerful body. That's what she said she'd have. It's not just human. How many Inhuman powers? Where did you take Fitz? Mac, he made it all the way back to the playground in there. He's no. Okay, they they're gonna go back for him. I didn't think you were coming back. Oh, he would have taken care of her. Something go wrong? No, no, they all made it through. But if he left, none of this would have existed anymore, right? I tried or... waiting up for you. Is he gonna be the one that's keeping it all together? Everything I need, it's all right here. I mean, it's a nice, happy ending for Mac. Like, it really, really, really is. Look at him. But what about Yo-Yo? What about the people that care about him on the other side? What about the future of the show? And that's it. No post credit. Ugh. I don't know how I feel about Mac staying. I, ca I called it from the beginning, though. I was like, we know he's going into a world with hope. So him exiting this world is going to be really tough. And yeah, it turns out he just doesn't want to leave. Um, but wow, yeah, no, it, <sighs> Ada, Ophelia, whatever. Getting Gordon powers? Hello? Hello? What else? What other powers does she have? Like, why Gordon? How? How Gordon? And is she the only one getting a body on this side? Or are other people going to cross over? I don't know. We can't give any of the characters a break, man. Daisy wakes up in a, the Zephyr. 
Same with Simmons, under attack by Russia. Fitz finally wakes up. He's having a mental breakdown from all the stuff he just went through and then instantly gets kidnapped by Ada. Teleported to uh, who knows where. Like, you, that's not something you can track. The only, I mean, yeah, actually it is. But, I mean, do they still have that tech around? They thought they already dealt with Gordon. They probably got rid of all that stuff. Or it was in the playground and now the playground's blown up. So it's like... How are you going to track where she went? How long are they going to wait there for Mac to wake up before realizing he's not waking up? Not to mention there's a Russian robot in the base with them. Or no, he's hunting them down, right? So he's not actually there. Maybe they can shut down his head that's in that submarine and that'll get them off Daisy and Simmons' tail. Maybe, maybe. Stab his, his little head in a jar. He also might be making a body for himself, so I don't know. Oh, two episodes left. I am going to take a break. I'm not going to watch the last two tonight. I don't want it to be over that quick, that's why. But maybe tomorrow I'll finish it. So yeah, but still by the time episode five and six go public, <laughs> that's when I'm going to be done with it. Man, the way Mac was so against alien crap and all that against the framework against robots wanting to get rid of all of this and then he ends up embracing the framework it giving him a life with his daughter and him being happier there than the real world knowing he's in a fake world that might just be the difference of that mac version if if he had all the memories of our mac and knew he was in there with a fake hope and everything it would probably be different but still the way he knows it's it's a fake world and still wants to be in it is crazy. Like, what a great bookend for his character. Uh, he might not be done, done with. Uh, they might go back for him or something. But, I mean, that seemed like a, the end for him. I don't know. And what about the opening for the last two episodes? Is it still going to be Agents of Hydra? Because I feel like that wouldn't fit. Does Ada's new body have a soul? Can they somehow get Ghost Rider back to put her back to where she came from? Bring, go, go to hell? Go to the framework? Well, can Ghost Rider come back? That's all I'm asking. I just want Ghost Rider back. I still want to know what Ghost Rider would have seen if he stared into a LMD. Do they have souls? I'm still curious about that conversation with Radcliffe back whenever. But yeah, this whole new body thing. I mean... It's it's fully human, but also inhuman. You know, maybe they'll go back in there. They'll bring hope to the looking glass, make her a body in the real world, Mac will get his daughter in the real world, and then he'll finally cross over and come back to his, his body. Maybe. They could always go back to the framework. It's still alive. It's still up and running. Servers are online and active. Maybe they could patch note it and uh, make program Mac to, to go back. I don't know. I'm going to miss the framework, though. I'm going to be honest. That was a fun four episodes or five episodes, whatever it was. That was really fun. One of my favorite, just most exciting arcs to watch so far, I feel like. And it's not over. I mean, we've got two episodes left here, but they're all out of the framework now, except Max. So it's like the actual framework itself, the Agents of Hydra, all of that might be over. But I really like the themes this season. It's just like it all interconnects with the souls at the beginning. It's all really interconnected. That how the LMDs connect to soul and science and how that connects to a fake virtual world, the framework, which all of this was hinted at in episode one. Remember when they were working on the framework in episode one? Simmons' introduction into episode one here of season four was taking off the VR goggles. Well, yeah, there was goggles at that point, but then they just decided to make it a just a headpiece that interacts with your brain. All of it was set up from right then and there. That's pretty crazy to think about. I'm getting tired now. I really enjoyed this episode. I was getting emotional with uh, Daisy and Mac. I was definitely tearing up a bit. Just him wanting to stay with Hope. Daisy crying over him, wanting him to, to come back because so many people over there love him. I'm just glad everyone's back in their normal bodies and their lives. Um, but it's still scary. There's a lot of danger ahead. So excited for the next two. Definitely let me know your thoughts on, on this episode here. And join me next time for the finale. So yeah, that's it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one very, very soon.